Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to create a terrain for your Unreal Engine 5 just by using the Earth Sculptor to create unlimited terrain for your Unreal Engine 5. And then in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a collision for your created terrain and also how to set the material according to the terrain that you created for your Unreal Engine 5 game project. And finally, the new terrain that you created should be able to use it in your Unreal Engine 5 game project and your avatar, your game avatar can run and can walk on the terrain. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. The first step, you can just scroll down, go to my video description to find the official website of the Earth Sculptor, the EarthSculptor.com, and then you have to download the software, download the Earth Sculptor, and install it in your computer. And I already installed it in my computer. This is the software. Before we go into the Unreal Engine 5, the first step, just click File to start a new project in your Earth Sculptor. Click OK. Now, this is a new project, and the first step, just choose the base texture like this. Maybe the base texture. The number once you set it, just for example, if you make it as a long grass, like this. Now you can see this is the base texture. Of course, you can change the scale of the texture like this to drag here. You can change the scale of the texture. And once you're done already, Next, you, you may just set another texture. Maybe you want to create a road that's here. You just find it here. It doesn't have any of the road. You can just go to the Google search. Search the image. I search, for example, L. Road. Road texture. Let's say if I choose this. I want to choose a square one, a square. For example, this one. Just right click it, save the image as, and as demo, I will save it on my desktop. This one as root texture. And of course, we need the PNG, sorry, the root texture PNG. This software is only using the PNG. And we must choose a square. Right. I may wait for this. 1024. Or I can use this. Right. I right click, save the image as. Alright, this is JPG. We don't use this. How about this? Right click, save the image as. It is still the ZPG. We want the PNG. Just be patient. Right. Here it already have a watermark here. Maybe. Right. As demo, it doesn't matter. I just right click and save the image to use this. This is still the the JPG just to find out one This is still a PNG.
All right now I already find found a PNG image like this. I save it on my desktop. All right, once done already, maybe I want to have a road at here. Just use the second, the number two to set the detail texture. I will choose my desktop. This at here. And then, I may just adjust the radius. And then, wait, just undo. The strength, just put it 100% like this. Undo. The softness, you may just put it 0. Right now, this is the road, and we check it out. Is that okay? The scale, maybe you want to make it bigger, like this. Or smaller it is up to you if the scale is smaller than the grasses logically it should be smaller like this right now it already become a road next what you are going to do is maybe you want to create a, a river here in order to create a river then you have to just sculpt on it the radius All right let's say this is a river Okay, undo. You have to push it down. All right, this part can be river, and later you can fill in the water at here. Next is the texture of the the bottom here. You may just change another texture. For example, this one, the pebble, open, and and you can just paint on here. Right, the strength. Use the full strength. This is the river. And then maybe you want to change the scale of the texture. Just change it. Like this. Then you can let the water to flow later. Next, maybe you want to put some shore at here. And then, if you want to put some rock at here, or some rock mountain or hill, you can just lift it up this part. Maybe you want to put some hill at here. And then, next, you are going to change the base texture right here. Just use the big rock surface, it's okay. Then, you may just paint on here. The scale, maybe you want to make it like this. The strength. Alright, once done already, maybe you feel that you want to send it to Unreal Engine. For this time, as the first time, you can just save it as a map. Click File, Save As, save it as a map on the desktop. The file name, I'm going to name this as Terrain01, save it. And then, next step is export the OBZ. The LOD you can adjust. No need the water. Just run and export it on the desktop as well because of this is a demo. The file name I'm going to name this as 
the terrain 0, 1. This is going to export as OBZ. Next is to export the texture. The texture I'm going to export more than 512. If you are using the, the free version, then it is up to 512. But for this time, I'm going to use 1024 or 2048. And always remember to export the texture. We only want the details. We don't need the color and the light. Just run it. And I will export it on the desktop. This one, I named this as texture 01, save. Now, this is the texture. Right now, I'm going to send it to Unreal Engine, import into Unreal Engine and show you how to create the collisions and also how to create and set up the texture. So now I will just open the Unreal Engine 5 and this time I may just close the Earth Sculptor. As demo, I'm going to start from a fresh new project in Unreal Engine 5 and everything will start from beginning. So I'm going to create a new game project at here, the third person game project. The project name, I'm going to name this as demo then create. This is a fresh new project. And then, if you try to play this game project, you can see the, the avatar, the main avatar is the mana queen. And then the starting point of the game is up here. So first, I, I may just back to the content folder and create a new folder. Name this as a terrain 01. Double click in, terrain 01. And I'm going to import the OBZ into here first. Just drag in to import it. Import all. Now close it. Now you can see. Actually, it is not a two side material, so one of the side you cannot see. And next, I'm going to show you how to adjust it. First, you have to drag in into your into your scene first and then you have to import the texture 01 as well just drag in next you have to drag and drop it into here it is going to instantly create a texture material just double click the material and here you have to take the two sides and save. Now you can see both sides. Now both sides you can see. And next, just click it, click on it and press press W to move it up. Then press E to just add just rotate it. The rotation you choose 90 and hold. Sorry. 90 enter now it will face up and for this time i want to to render some of the shadow i choose the medium high so that you can see some shadow later right now this one i press e i press r to make it bigger bigger until it can cover everything I press W to make it at the center now you can see the player start the player start is here you have to as demo I'm going to lift it up like this 
so that later the player will spawn on the sky and it will drop on the terrain like this I will make this bigger now if you try to play now you can see the player you cannot touch the terrain next you have to set the collision first just double click your terrain and then this material make sure you double click it wait double click your terrain 01 the material you have to choose the texture 01 material like this then save it that's the first step next drag it down until you can see the collisions the complex collision mesh you have to change wait where is it the collision complexity you have to change it to use the complex collision as simple so that you can interact with the player then save it close now you try to play you can see now the player can interact with with the terrain and everything will go well and you can make it as the terrain for your game scene and fill in some water at here you may just create another 3d model as the water to fill it here now for sure your player already can interact with this terrain and the terrain the earth sculptor is one of the best terrain generator and terrain creator for your android engine 5 if, if you know how to use it and practice it well and in this tutorial i already show you how to use the earth sculptor to create any of your own terrain and bring into your android engine 5 to make it become the game scenes and your player can interact with this terrain with certain collisions and set the material properly and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorial are very helpful to your 3d animation and game developing and also your 3d modeling you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time i publish a new video tutorial or sharing you receive a notification immediately See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D animation and game developing. See you.